Hey everyone, Tech Gamer here. Got another unboxing and review video here for you. And I am super excited about this one. This is the GJI Osmo Mobile 6 Smartphone Stabilizer. Now if you're like me, you're taking a ton of videos on a mobile phone. Whether it's for personal, for a YouTube channel, for work. You've always got to hold it in your hand, it's moving all around. And you're just not getting those quality videos that you'd like out of it. You need one of these devices. These things are super cool and I am super excited to break it open and find out what's inside. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and let's do this. Okay everyone, welcome back. So here we have the Osmo Mobile 6 Smartphone Stabilizer from DJI. So let's check out the box before we rip it open. So it's your standard box, cardboard packaging. Got some pictures on the side. The back has some descriptions about the feature sets and what's included in the box. So the Osmo Mobile 6 features three axis smart stabilization, has quick launch, it's portable and foldable, Active Track 5.0, and it features easy tutorials and one-tap editing through different mobile apps that you can put on your phones or tablets. And has a built-in extension rod. So one of the things that's super cool with DJI stuff, whether it's a drone or a smartphone stabilizer, is ActiveTrack 5.0. Basically, ActiveTrack 5.0 is a feature set that's included with DJI stuff that basically can lock onto a target and track it for you. So it helps you automate filming someone skateboarding, uh, locking onto a car as it's driving by, anything like that, something quick moving, where it'll get you that really cool spot on focus and stabilization in all your videos using your target as a feature set in that video. So that's really cool. And we'll feature that in a little bit here. So what's in the box? There's the Osmo Mobile 6, the DJI OM Magnetic Phone Clamp 3, a grip tripod, a power cable, a storage pouch, and standard documents. It has information about replacements and rewards for safe use, global service and support, DJI Care Express, and you can get all that information by scanning the QR code right there. On the bottom is just information about the device, serial numbers, and that's pretty much about it. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. So to do that here, there's a little tab on the bottom. Just pull it off here. That's basically a, a seal that now they know that you've opened the box. So let's go ahead here and put this down and we'll bust it open. So on the inside flap here, you've got some more information. Scan the QR code, how to open the device, how to put the phone mount on and how to extend the, the height of the device by using the extension rod that's built in. So let's see what we got going on here. We flip this up. We've got something in this box here. Let's see what it is. This looks like the travel pouch and the quick start guide and safety guidelines for the device and what looks to be uh, warranty information. So we'll go ahead and put those aside over here. So this is the pouch. It's a uh, just a little carry bag to fit all this stuff in so you can throw it in your bag or carry it with you on the go. And it says Osmo on the front. So we'll go ahead and put that to the side here. Make sure we have nothing else in here. We do. Here is your charging cable. So this is a standard USB to a USB-C charger. The USB-C side is what goes into the device to charge it. This you can charge it through a computer or any standard mobile phone charger that features a USB style port. So we'll go ahead and put that to the side here. And there's nothing else in here. So I feel like me, I like to keep my stuff in like good condition in case I ever decide to sell the device or anything like that. So we'll put this to the side. All right. So here we've got the smartphone clamp. This extends out. Now, something like this, 
you've got to make sure it'll fit uh, your case with your phone with the case on. Sometimes you may have to take the case off, but we'll try that in a little bit here. So we'll go ahead and put this down. Let's see what else we've got here. We've got the tripod. Now this is really cool if you're doing this by yourself and want to set your phone down, set the device down, standard tripod. It'll, you know, stand up any which way you want here. You could bend it for angles. So that's pretty cool. Set that to the side. And the main reason we're all here, the Osmo Mobile 6 stabilizer. So let's go ahead here and carefully open the bag without ripping it apart too bad, but I may not have a choice. It's glued pretty good here. All right. So here is the Osmo Mobile 6 smartphone stabilizer. Now I'm not sure if this thing has any power, so let's find out. It does. It actually is charged, which is pretty nice. As you can see here, it's got a battery indicator and it's showing you that there is nothing connected. This is your focus. This is your manual movement and you can set various settings and options, which we'll check out in a little bit. So it feels good quality. It's all plastic. There is some metal brackets here, which is nice. Looks to be good quality. It's got the magnetic clamp for this. So I can show you here. Basically, you just if you want to put your phone on, you just have to go like that. And then it connects your phone right to it. And then to pull it off, you just separate it when you're ready. So I am super excited about this thing. It seems pretty cool. I can already tell you it's working because when I move it, it compensates around. Obviously, it's not set right now because the there's no phone in it. It's got a nice grip. And then you can, if you want to screw the tripod in, you just screw it into the bottom. So the tripod obviously has two functions. One is to give you that stand-up tripod. Or two, you can use it as a grip if you want to be able to hold your phone up higher, which is pretty nice. Get this that box out of the way here. It's just some silica gel in there and some rubber grommets to help support your mobile phone to secure the mobile phone mount to your phone if you want to. So we'll put that to the side here and we'll get this device set up on its tripod here. So I'm gonna set it as low as I can here. Turn it like this. And we'll back the camera up a little bit here. So we can see the whole thing. So as you can see, it's about a foot tall. And it's really cool. I'm super excited about this. I definitely like the build. The LED display here for the battery is really bright, easy to see. The knobs feel like they're decent quality. There it moves. It's trying to figure out where it is right now in its position. The, the tripod looks like it's decent quality. Now I've bought a lot of tripods over the years to um, use for when I do filming for different things. And I find that most of them are just cheap and they break, you know, cheap plastic. This one actually feels like it's a really good quality. It is all plastic on the bottom, but that's okay. I mean, it's for what I'm going to use it for, it'll work great. And it, you know, fits to the device. No problem. It can be used as an extra grip. I'm really excited about this thing. I hopefully this helps me make a lot better videos because I've just never been happy with the quality of the videos when I'm using my mobile phone, just because it moves around. You can see it if you watch some of my other videos. So I'm hoping that this device helps alleviate that for when I'm, using it for personal stuff like filming sports events that I coach, whether it's for when I'm in New York City, you see a lot of my videos in New York City, streets, uh, different locations, landmarks, stuff like that, whether I'm just walking or doing some sort of exercise activity or filming a, a video gaming event, anything like that. Something like this will help make your videos that much better quality so you're not moving all around now, mobile devices do have 
some software built stabilization into them, but they're not that good. You're never going to get the stabilization out of a software based solution versus something with like a hardware based solution. So that's where you would want something like one of these. And uh, it's super cool. I'm super excited to check it out. So let's go ahead now and uh, get our smartphone mounted and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so here we have the mobile mount for the DJI Osmo Mobile 6. Now this has a magnetic backing right here. This is what connects to the smartphone stabilizer. So how do you put this device on your phone? Super simple, but there are a couple of considerations for it. So the device basically extends out like this. Basically, you can pull either side, it extends out. The easiest way to get it on your phone is just to flip your phone over, lay it down, connect one side, stretch it across, and then bam, it's on. Super simple, just like that. Now, what are the considerations to this? If you have a case on your phone, if the case is super thick, the device may not fit. Like if you have an OtterBox or anything like that where the sides extend out towards your phone to make it higher and provide more protection for your phone, that comes out of consideration that these devices may not fit. You might have to take the case off to make the phone mount fit. Now, if you wanted to, you could leave this on your case all the time when you're filming or you can just take it off super easy and keep it in its travel pouch whichever you prefer but that's basically it and now I'll show you how to connect it to the smartphone stabilizer okay so we're ready to connect the smartphone to the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 smartphone stabilizer so let's go ahead here and just get this device sitting on its tripod so as you can see right now, the device is powered off and it's closed. So like I showed you before, to open it up, you just have to lift up on it and it will automatically turn on. So we now have the DJI mobile connector, magnetic connector, connected to our phone, just like I showed you. So all you need to do to put it on, this is magnetic clip right here will automatically connect and realize it's holding a phone and get it set up. Just like that. Super easy. Now, the next step is to configure the app to use the phone and work with it to track the locations, track your target, stuff like that. And I'm super excited to get working with that too. But this is basically how you connect it. And it will always keep the phone level. So as you can see, it's compensating for when I move it around. It knows that it's being moved. If I tilt it like this, it'll bend it down to what I'm looking at. So this is basically the fixed mode. If you move it like this, move it like that. So it knows what you're looking at, which is really nice. So if you want to look down at something, basically just put it like this and it's going to bend down to look at it depending on which at which angle you have the device and there are lots of settings for that as well which we can go through but I'm super excited about this thing it's already this is really cool it's going to make my videos so much better especially some of my Lego builds where I'm always moving the, the phone around the way I don't like it so hopefully that fixes some of this all right so let's check out some of the features of the DJI device now. Okay, so one of the nice things is if you're holding the device and you're filming and you want to manually focus on something, target something, you can use the gimbal here. So if I want to turn it to the right, I want to turn it to the left, make it look up, make it look down, at whatever you want. And obviously if you adjust it, it'll compensate as well. So the farther you tilt it, the more you can tilt your phone, stuff like that. Turn it all the way that way. Show you it can spin almost, it can spin all the way around almost to whichever angles that you want. So there's 
the amount of angles you can get with this thing is crazy. And it's going to be, this is going to be awesome. It's going to make my video so much better. I am seriously super excited about this thing. Different settings. As you can see, there's different modes that you can play with. And I won't go into the specifics of the modes in this video, but basically trial and error to get the kind of shots that you want. And once you practice with this thing, you'll get crazy good videos super quick and efficiently. And it'll blow your mind how good these devices are. You're going to get professional quality videos on your mobile phone that look like they were filmed, you know, with a real phone in a real professional setting. And it's going to be, you're going to love it. Just they're absolutely worth the money. So let's talk cost for a minute here of this. So device. this device retails for anywhere between 120 to $160, depending on where you buy it. Uh, you can find it discounts places. Sometimes they're cheaper. Sometimes they're more expensive. I find that usually you'll see them for about $160 on Amazon, Best Buy, any of those kind of stores, DJI's website. Um, I bought this particular one from Best Buy just because I happen to like Best Buy and I support everything that they do and sell. So that's where I got it from. Um, really nice price point for a device that's going to provide this much functionality and make my videos that much cooler. So that's super awesome. Uh, again, about hundred and assume you're going to spend about $160 on this particular device and should last you for years to come. It's super cool. So final thoughts. This is the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 smartphone stabilizer. It is super cool. Uh, it's about a foot high holding your phone. Um, it's used to make super smooth, stabilize videos effortlessly without having to do software, editing, stuff like that. Now there are video editing apps that I'm not showing in this particular video for this device, which you can get. And I'll put the links to them in the description for the video, but it's super cool. It's got a nice bright screen here that shows the battery charge, what position you're on and what settings you're on, and that it shows that the phone is connected you can see we can turn it, which is really nice. You turn it up, it moves. You turn it down, it moves. It moves super quick, buttery smooth, super quiet. You don't hear a single thing out of this thing. It's got the record button so you can start recording videos without having to touch your phone. Now you do need the app for that. And it's got the replay, the memory, the mode, sorry, this is mode. So you can change the mode as you can see. I would like it to maybe turn that beep off because if you're recording something, uh, you may not want to hear that noise. Uh, this is focus on the dial here. But again, you need the, uh, to make these features work with the phone seamlessly, you do need to use the app to record the videos, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It's fine. It'll record the same thing as the normal phone app. This is an iPhone, but uh, an Android phone. It'll do the same exact types of recordings through the app, regardless of what, um, you know, you're trying to shoot. So that's it. I hope everybody likes this video. If anybody has any questions or comments, as always, please drop a comment to this video and I will do my best to get it answered for you. If you could click that like button and subscribe to the channel, that would be totally awesome too. I'm going to be using this device all the time to make much better YouTube videos and continue growing my quality and how I learn and how I make my videos because I think this is going to help me a lot to really make some nice smooth videos versus me moving all around and everything like that. So super excited and can't wait to use it. Thanks a lot, everybody. I will see you around.